a quick bit of conceptual help with writing DAX. Okay, if you've got hourly or daily data, but you want to do a monthly average, not a monthly total, a monthly average, it's tricky, but the formula is actually quite straightforward. Let's go. So here's my data. It's energy usage by the half hour. So every half hour I've got data at that level, that granularity. Okay, but what I'd like is what's my monthly average consumption? So the concept here is I actually need to summarize the data by the year and month. Okay, give me the total usage for each year and month and then average that column. That's the concept, okay? So a couple of formulas that potentially can do this. So here's my first sort of pass at this formula. Um, and actually a little tip, I wanna call this um, table of year and months. So control shift L to select both, underscore. See they're changing at the same time? Table, year and months. Okay. All right, so what's this doing? Well, this is giving me a unique list of all, essentially the month numbers since today, number of months since today. Now I've used Power Query to generate this column. Let me just show you what it looks like. You don't have to do it this way. I'll show you another way in a second. But because I've already got this Power Query column, I'm gonna use, use it. So here's the column, months since today. It's just a really useful you know, numerical column against each year and month in the past and I can iterate down that. Uh, if you don't have this column, I'll show you a different way in a second. But I like using this column for filters and stuff to make them dynamic based on today's refresh date. Okay, so with that formula, okay, let me bring it back up. Let me just grab that and let me just show you what that looks like if you actually physically created this table. Okay, so here's our new table. Click in here, uh, and we'll just call this test. And we'll paste that formula in and press enter. So it's just a list, unique list, okay? And then we're gonna add, so let's go add columns. And to this, let's go shift enter, comma, we're going to add a column called uh, usage, and that's just going to be our measure. Okay, so it's going to iterate down that table, giving us our usage. So if I copy this table, uh, right click copy table, and I paste it into Excel, turn it into a little table here. Okay, and I go to my total row and I change this to an average, I'll get the 385, essentially, which if I go back to my Power BI report, 385. All right, a quick warning. Having been editing this video, I then realized that this zero is in here and that is bringing the average down. Okay, the blanks get ignored. So don't worry about, it. don't have to worry about those necessarily. The zero, you know, if I get rid of it, it, the average is actually 407. Or I could put a filter on here, all right, to give me the proper average. Now those zeros I could have filtered out in Power Query to avoid bringing them in in the first place, um, which I probably should have done. But you can also sort of handle that risk inside your DAX. So, and we just, let me just put this on a new row just to make it a bit easier. Okay, and we say, okay, let's filter this. Okay, the values, comma, where the usage doesn't equal zero. Okay. That would then shrink this down and the same approach could be done in the actual measure itself. So if I go to the measure, um, here we go. So in here, I could actually do the same thing, yeah? Filter, 
But again, you just got to know your business logic. What do you want to have apply? How up to date is your data? All these sorts of things just make stacks that little bit more of a challenge. Okay, and I can put that in there. And if I bring up a little page here, this is my usage 407. Okay, back on with the video. Okay, so that's what this formula is essentially doing. Sorry, wrong one, this one. We are grabbing all the unique months and we're then running an average X down it. So what that does is it goes down that table that we've just created, running that formula in an imaginary column, and then at the end, it averages it. So the X bit is just the iterator. It means, hey, take this measure and run it down the rows. And at the end, average that imaginary column and it disappears. So this is essentially doing what that physical table does without having to create the physical table, which is much more efficient, okay? And then it just spits out the result. All right, but what if you don't have months since today? Well, you could then do something like this, okay? You can actually use the summarize columns to grab your year and month, or maybe in Power Query, create a year month column if you need one, all right? So you could do that and then average X down that table of months doing the same thing and I'll give you the same answer. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's try the new card visual. Let's bring it over here. Let's do the average monthly usage. There we go. Let's do the one I just showed you. Okay, great. And what's this other one? This is the short version. Well, essentially we can combine that long one potentially into one single measure, you know, without multiple variables, but I like having variables. But this would give you, you know, the same answer. So if I clicked on here and did the short, great, okay. And then you can slice and dice that by year or by month or whatever you need to. Okay, hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. 